Today I want to talk about goals. Now many people like to set goals, I do myself, because for instance they might help motivate you. You might have a sense of achievement in achieving those goals and finally you could boast on social media of how you've achieved those goals. Goals don't need to be anything large. For instance, today I've set a goal of going to a new cafe that I haven't been to before. It's very cold out today. In fact, there's a lot of ice on the ground. So another goal I will have is not to get too cold. I'm going to be riding off-road because hopefully the mud will be frozen. Oh, there's another goal I'm not going to achieve today and that's to get the contents of this video to fit into five minutes. Although it's very cold today, luckily it's also dry. And this mud that I'm riding on, this has been churned up by a tractor recently, is frozen, or at least semi-frozen. So I'm going to have to go along here pretty slowly. Oops, it's not all frozen, I just felt the back wheel skid. I think I'm going to have to get up on the middle here where the mud is starting to thaw under the action of the sun. Yeah, I can feel the rear wheel sliding about a bit. Really could do with suspension. Hopefully, that's better. I'm off the piece that was churned up by a tractor. Now I'm on just an ordinary bumpy piece of track. And it's frozen ground again. Yeah, the temperature's hovering around about freezing. I think it reached about minus four degrees centigrade overnight. Now it might just about be slightly above freezing. Look out, mountain biker ahead. Thanks. And a gravel person, right? having to pick my line fairly carefully along there because sections of it are frozen and sections of it are slightly thawed and you get that slightly thawed mud on top of the frozen ground which makes it actually quite slippery. Now this piece being in the sun has thawed. We are, there's some ice. This piece of track feels much bumpier than it did last time I rode down here. Maybe it's just me feeling a bit more sensitive. I've now got a few kilometers of riding on the road before I get on to the next off-road section. It's a bit strange really. Riding off-road you think this is great, bit of a challenge. And then when you get on the road you go, this is great, lovely and smooth. Smoothness is relative obviously. And then after a few kilometres you think, well actually I'd like to get off-road again. And luckily, that's what I'm going to do. As I said, smoothness is relative. Parts of this road are more bumpy than the off-road sections. 
I rode along here on my last mini off-road adventure which is detailed in the top right of the screen and it was just about here that I had a puncture and I stopped to mend it okay then time to turn right and get to the next off-road section I must admit, I'm struggling a bit with my balance today. The shaking and jarring is causing my stroke damaged brain a few problems. So I'm just going to go along relatively slowly. Having suspension would help, I suppose. This is rough in places. So back to those goals. As I said today, I'm just setting a small goal of going to a cafe. Before I had my stroke, I used to set much more ambitious goals usually around Aldax. So, for instance, I had uh, set myself a goal of achieving a ultra randonneur, which is, God, this is bumpy, which is 10 super randonneurs in 10 different years. And I achieved that. I'd also done a round the year challenge, an RRTY, and I had achieved one of those, and I was on my way. That was very slippery mud there, and I was well on my way to the, my second round the year challenge. In fact, I'd done at least a 200 kilometer event in 11 months and I was just about to do my final month to get my second round the year challenge. Oh, I'm just sliding on that mud there. Uh, which is when I had my stroke. So I only managed 11 out of 12 months for that year. So I missed out on my second round the year challenge. Since I had my stroke, I've had to set my goals somewhat lower. However, that doesn't mean to say I can't enjoy riding still. I do. I just have oh, nearly got tram lined there. I've got a decision to make here. I can go right, which will take me down through a field, or I can go left. They both meet at the same road. This one just lower down. I think I might go to the one to the left. That's because it's more in shade and hopefully the ground will be more frozen. Therefore I won't have any more of those issues of the bike sliding around on a thin layer of mud over the top of frozen ground. Right, just coming out onto the road now. Ooh. Although much of the track was frozen, as you can see by the tyre, there was a bit of mud around. I'm going to turn right here, go down the hill, and probably have mud flying off the front tyre and hitting me in the face. Never mind, it's all part of the fun of off-roading.
So here I am at the new cafe. In fact, it is very new. It's only been open a few days. And it's so new, I've got no idea where it is. <laughs> Could that be it? So is this the new improved Linden kitchen? It is. It can't be because you couldn't improve on the other one. <laughs> Direct quotes, Gemma. There's another one not here. Yeah. The more the merrier. Can I have a latte, please? Yes. Absolutely. Might as well go for a large one. Okay, it's, a, it's regular, is that okay? It's regular or small, so don't regular. Oh, I, I would go medium and large. You okay, know. medium and large, a large coffee you know. there. Yeah, okay. And uh, I'll have a piece of that cake as long as it doesn't have chocolate in. No, it doesn't, it's carrot cake. That's what I thought. Yeah. Lovely. Okey yep, I'll go for that. Let's continue with targets. Well, my targets for today were first to get to this cafe, cheers, and secondly, not to get too cold. And I've achieved that second one mainly because I think I put too many clothes on. Anyway, that's today's goals met. Since my stroke, my goals have been somewhat less ambitious. And those usually relate to a distance goal for each month. I use Strava to monitor those goals. In fact, that's one of the few subscriber features on Strava that I actually use consistently. For instance, in 2023, I set my cycling distance goal at 800 kilometers per month and 100 kilometers for walking. And I think I achieve that in every month apart from January. And I didn't achieve the cycling goal because the weather was quite bad. This year I'm going to have distance goals again, but I'm going to refine them a little bit. So in this month, January, I'm going to set a target of 600 kilometers. For February, it'll be 800 kilometers. And then for each of the subsequent months, apart from December, it will be a thousand kilometers. In addition to that, I do tend to set some other goals, which are more event based. So for instance, last year, I had a target of going to Mallorca for a cycling holiday, which I did. And I'm going to do that again this year. I've just booked up to go to Mallorca in March for 10 days. Should be good. You'll find a link to my 2023 Mallorca playlist in the top right. For this year, 2024, I may look for some other event-based goals. For instance, I'm going to look at trying to complete the East Anglian leg of the North Sea cycle route. That is from Felixstowe up to Kings Lynn. And in addition, I get a bit of wanderlust. So I might look at doing something a bit more ambitious. What that'll be, I don't know yet, but subscribe to the channel if you want to find out in the future. I should just be on about 30 kilometers by the time I get home. And on such a cold day, despite it actually being quite sunny, there's no need to set a more ambitious goal. My plan was to ride into Baverham, turn left and go along the off-road track that I rode in on. However, because it's been chewed up by tractors and I suspect the surface is starting to melt quite a lot now, I decided just to go back along the cycle track towards Sawston. Of that 30 kilometers, around about 10 kilometers was off-road. Of course, one of my other cycling-related goals is to keep 5-Minute Velo trucking on. 
And if you want to help out with that, you'll find a buy me a coffee link in the description. However, if you want a cheaper way of helping the channel out, then please give the videos a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. What about you? Do you like to set yourself goals? If you do, tell me about them in the comment section. Or are you one of those people that like to be a bit more adaptive? Perhaps adapting to the weather and making up your plans a bit more as you go along. Of course, most of us, myself included, do something in between. We set ourselves some goals and then we adapt to the circumstances. From me until the next video, it's goodbye.